All right, folks, welcome back. It is now 821. We're joined by Heather Pierce from Blunt Memorial. She's sharing uh, four healthy lunchbox ideas for your kids that will help them hopefully eat. The prompter yeah. says actually eat, but I'm going to say hopefully because yeah. I've got toddlers <laughs> myself, and that's all we can hope for on a daily basis right, is that right. they get it's some sort of nutrients in their system yeah. at some point of the day, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've you learned to lower my right? standards a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so like, just, yeah. If you get a bite of broccoli, I'm happy. Yeah, know? right. Exactly. Uh, so, yeah, we're... As far as lunchbox ideas, you know, I know school just started back, so maybe, you know, get ahead of the boredom, maybe <laughs> get, get a few ideas going. Um, one thing, sandwiches are very popular, and that's fine, but, you know, cookie cutters, you could make little special. We just bought some of those. Yeah, yeah. And Who doesn't like to eat a dinosaur? You know, <laughs> <rhinoceros>. Or, <laughs> you know, put it on a stick. You know, when, when you present it differently, it just has a different flair to it, and they might eat it better, you know. I think right. you just have to try a lot of things, right? Uh, no doubt. Uh, and and or, every week is different too, right? Yes. I mean, one week they like something, the next week you're like, seriously, it's you gone. loved that last yeah. week. So these are a lot of options. So this one uh, option, you've got some grapes, uh, a wrap with uh, spinach in there so you can hide whatever vegetable they might eat uh, in there. And then some cucumbers. A lot of times kids like, you know, raw vegetables versus mm -hmm. cooked. So this could be a helpful thing. Popcorn. I think pop kids usually like popcorn pretty My well. My kids will a, mow down some popcorn. Yeah, so that's a good replacement for chips that are salty and you know a lot of fat there. So hey, you've got a kind of a win-win. You got salty, sweet, and because popcorn's better than chips. Yeah. Hands down. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, good. Sure. Especially air popped. Right, right. The second one is kind of like a, a play on Lunchables. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It totally <laughs> so, is. Yeah. So you could do. I put two different protein options because you know somebody people might like a ham or turkey or boiled eggs work really good too uh, so you've got a vegetable a fruit so sliced apples here um, some triscuits and a thing so those are a whole grain tr cracker at least right um, and this could work for some adults almonds. too. Use some almonds and then yeah, this I love would be these great little, for adults are you kidding me yeah I've, I have this sometimes too so and then I've got a, I love these little hummus little individual mm -hmm, hummus they're good um, things so you can have that as a dip because kids like to dip so <laughs> I do too they, they do, do too <laughs> and my kids actually love that hummus too so yeah and okay. another one this is could be this is actually what I had for dinner last night so I just made an extra one to, to put on the show uh, and it's you can eat it cold. It's a, a bit like a bean quesadilla, bean and cheese quesadilla. Okay. So you can put that in there. It's actually not bad cold. And then a couple of, you know, if they will eat guacamole or, or avocado slices, that's great. Maybe you put salsa in there, whatever. Um, but something to go with that. And then the fruit. So. And some fresh fruit. Nice. Yeah. That's great. And then what do you have over here? This is uh, a little bit just different. Um, this could be something that the adults use too as their lunch too, or it's maybe like throw a salad. Is that cowboy caviar? Yes. Nice. Yes. I love cowboy so caviar. So this could be something very easy to use uh, for lunch throughout the week. So you've got an apple, um, a protein bar, and when I, I look for protein bars, I'm trying to find something about less than 10 grams of sugar in there. Seven, six or seven grams of protein at least. You know, okay. I think there's a lot out there that's not good. So totally. I think it's it's just helpful to you have. You gotta be a guidelines. label reader. Yeah, you really do. They hide a lot of stuff. They sure do. <laughs> so, a bunch of punks. Yeah, and then so the so chips with the cow, cowboy caviar because you've got fiber there. You've got the beans, your protein. What do you so, just extend the chips and just eat that all together? I know. <laughs> yeah, that could be a little that's meal. Kind of what I do right. Right, right. Absolutely. So that could be kind of like a snack lunch. So especially. this is good. Okay. And I will say on a side note. You know, a little bit of prep work, not just making the food, yeah. but getting the containers helps. I mean, oh, I don't yeah. know how your cupboards look like, but I know mine. Yeah. And you have some Tupperware over here, some over here, yes. lids over yes. here, up here, and you're like, yes. seriously, I give up, I'm out. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of great things, options Absolutely. out there now, so that's great. Heather, thank you so much. Do Thanks. appreciate it. Have a great weekend. You too. And thank happy you. happy Friday to you as well. <laughs>